that anything you are um yeah you really see the future you know in like from a material perspective is there something we can talk about to really understand um what composites mean in this automotive uh, industry well yeah for for sure so you know the, it's funny how we we've shifted in, in just a few short years you know two or three years ago we were working on the you know in the us was called cafe it was a 56.5 mile per gallon um, standard that was being set by the government. So by 2025, we were supposed to all be at 56.5 miles per gallon. So we were all running very fast towards that. And then the pandemic hit and now it's, you know, it's, it's a pivot to electrification. Um, so everything we did was, I wouldn't say it was useless, but it was, you know, it was set off to the side, but for, a, for composites, they all fit together because composites, are, you know, they lend themselves to lightweight technology. So lightweight is, is good for, Fuel, fuel economy, but also for electrification. So these batteries, if you haven't seen them, they're, they're very large and they're very heavy. So the more weight we can take out of a vehicle, um, the, the better the ranges of, of, a, of a battery. Um, so that, that's important. But also um, composites lend themselves to being very flexible for design and manufacturing and, and for lower cost tooling. Than, than us. And they also have, we can put chemistry into the materials that wouldn't have to be added on for example if you had an aluminum battery tree you might have to put some sort of coating on the outside to make it uh, flame retardant or protective and where we can actually put that chemistry right into the material and be net shape we don't have to stamp it and worry about seams and leaking and things like that we can actually mold mm -hmm. it into a shape so um but one thing that as as Tejin being a, a, a very big materials type company is we can focus on multi-material so we can look at you know, we have a good piece over here. You know, so in the U.S., what, what my group does with Tejan Automotive is very big in his body panel. So if you look at, um, we do the entire body of the out, out exterior of the Corvette and exterior, we're on a, a, there's a Lotus vehicle being being manufactured now. And we're, we're, we're very, always been very big in that. Um, and now we can adapt those underbody and, and, and interior parts. And what we're really working on right now, you ask about the future, is battery enclosures. So... The current battery technologies are can be dangerous if uh, they're short circuited or get wet. So what we we create a battery enclosure that has um, uh, flame retardant properties for what they call thermal runaway. So we are very successful with that, and it, it's a very big product globally for us. In China, I think we're with thirty. We have over thirty vehicles that we're on, and in the U.S., it's starting to grow, and in Europe as well. So. And my team is working very hard on that because there's a lot of very um, difficult chemistry to, to figure out. And um, a lot of the market changes very quickly. You know, we had we mm -hmm. uh, a, a year ago, we had one test and then everybody said, oh, that test isn't important. Anymore. Now we have this new test and we're like, wait, we've been working for three years to pass that one test. And now you tell us in two months, oh, yeah, you're on this vehicle, but now you got to pass this test. So you have to be very flexible, but, you know, adapt very quickly. And, and again, be, be communicative with your customers and your supply base to because as the market changes, we all have to think together and shift 